गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू गुड इवनिंग सिद्धार्थ गुड इवनिंग सिद्धार्थ गुड इवनिंग ओंकार सर हेलो सर हेलो हेलो सैम्यो हाउ आर यू आई एम गुड थैंक यू वेरी मच सो वेलकम सैम्यो टू आवर सेशन वी हैव दिस इंस्टा लाइव प्रोग्राम्स ऑलमोस्ट ऑन एटलीस्ट ट्वाइस इन अ मंथ ऑन वेंसडे इज अराउंड एट ओ क्लॉक so uh-huh. we have a wide range of topic like um, stress management um, we have covered uh, careers in um, <coughs> chartered accountancy company secretary entrepreneurship so and we have also had somebody from the psychological field and uh-huh. yeah last minute tips for the examination so we have wide range of topic and we are very happy to have you on board today to discuss about uh, the most talked about uh digital marketing and what is the scope for uh, a commerce student you know uh, specifically in digital marketing so we are very thank you, thank you. excited to know about that so welcome savio and before we start uh, we request to j- uh, give us an introduction about yourself i think that will be kind of you thank you actually i, I wanted to thank you first uh, for getting me on this uh, Life to connect with all your uh, with all your followers. Uh, for the longest time, uh, I I was working in the corporate sector. I uh, started off as a content writer with a stock broking company, and then afterwards moved on from uh, one place to another, and eventually found myself with uh, Viacom Eighteen, where I managed uh, the digital properties for brands such as uh, uh, Comedy Central, MTV, VH1. Uh, I was also part of the Colors launch, Colors Infinity launch team. So uh, yeah, th- that's what my corporate life was. And then afterwards, uh, I quit one day and I decided to uh, get full time into my own uh, business. So okay, that's that's what has brought me to this life too. Yeah, the, yeah. The, you are a founder of. You have your own company uh, into marketing wide range of things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh, it 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 started off as a digital marketing company but now we um, we have moved beyond digital we also do uh, online offline on ground uh, on site advertising so we are a fully fledged uh, advertising and marketing company great that's nice so entrepreneur on board <laughs> i pretend to be an entrepreneur <laughs> <laughs> uh to start with like um um why exactly like digital marketing is um such an exciting or the most talked about career option in the last i think um 2 uh, 3 years or 4 5 years down now any specific reason uh, for well uh, for the re- uh, for the very basic reason that di- digital uh, the the per unit cost of advertising on digital is very cheap um so you know small businesses have gotten an opportunity to come onto a platform that is available to everybody so earlier if you if you remember uh, advertising was restricted to having a newspaper having uh, a newspaper ad a tv ad a radio ad okay. uh, if you wanted to go hyper local you would go to pamphlets you would go through uh, uh, hoardings you would go through posters yeah. and bills and all of that so uh, digital sort of gave all those businesses an opportunity to really come to the fore if you if you remember um, back in the day having your picture be, be printed in a newspaper was like a huge thing you know correct um, i'm i'm not talking more than 5 years ago correct but today you have your pictures printed all over, all across people's walls on instagram on facebook snapchat of the world and it has also given smaller businesses the opportunity and not just smaller businesses i am also talking about smaller brands personal brands and right. people deciding to uh, you know make a brand out of themselves i think digital gave them that uh, that push so which is why we are at this point um speaking of uh, numbers uh, let's put it this way 
be over the last three years. Uh, that includes the years of the pandemic, right? Right. Uh, digital has grown in the following. So between 2019 and 2020, um, digital grew 45 percent year on year. That means the jump from 2018, 2019 to 2019, 2020 was 45, 46 percent. Right. Uh, but be- between 2020 and 2021, the jump has been 76 percent. Right. Right. So you are seeing that digital is taking a bigger leap over the last three years, right? Two or three years, and uh, this is why it has become exciting because businesses are investing in digital media, right? So until the market does not invest in something like this, it does not become exciting, especially as a career prospect to people. And uh, you know, out of the entire advertising space, uh, which is roughly around. Uh, Uh, a two lakh crore rupee business, or oh, just uh, sorry, a one lakh crore rupee business. Just in the last few years, we have seen digital come close to around twenty five thousand crore rupees in India only. Correct. Okay. Right. So that is the kind of push that the market is giving. So uh, if thirty percent of your entire advertising industry or marketing industry is going digital. it means that a huge share of uh, businesses will invest in that direction and uh, also yeah the last thing that we ne- really need to know is that mobile phones are in everyone's hands right the time space that uh, we see across rural india being invested onto digital is pretty high so that's the reason why we we are noticing this interest it's become exciting because of that To be honest, the participation and the quantum of uh, opportunities available and the amount of money being spent. And yeah, I mean, today anybody can uh, sit and become an influencer if they really want to try. You know, I don't like the idea of influencers. That's my personal opinion. But think about the fact that how many content creators have you seen uh, becoming celebrities in the in just during the pandemic? Correct. Right. uh there are there are smaller known celebrities with with uh, you know with a decent amount of talent a uh, smaller amount of uh, instagram influencers with a decent amount of talent becoming so huge that they are surpassing the following of mainstream celebrities in india uh, and we know of of a huge gamut of them so really if you if you just put your brains to it one cannot ignore the fact that digital media is growing space correct okay. and uh, that that's about the uh, digital marketing space uh, like uh, this is a personal question like why did you uh, choose to come into this field like uh... so uh, i was always into the creative bent of things i i don't call myself a creative guy but then creativity always attracted me and i wanted to put my creativity to use uh, or at least sharpen my creativity so it, it, it has always been a learning process for me you know so uh, over the last 8 years 9 years mm-hmm. all i've been doing is i've been learning new things about digital media mm-hmm. and every day is is a new day every day is a new challenge every day is a new problem to solve so why not you know for me that was the the reason why i got into it correct correct that's right and uh, matlab uh, to to be in digital space you need to be creative or that's not a precondition or there are other options that's not a precondition uh, but you need to be very sensitive to uh, to information right you need to be very sensitive as to what you uh, you want to keep learning uh, there are the problem with with uh, the way a lot of uh, a lot of students approach digital media is that they think that since we have been using digital media social media over over our almost our entire lives now almost our entire uh what since 2000 uh, yeah a lot of them have been using it for for their entire life they think that they understand uh, digital media maybe you understand digital media but do you understand people do you understand how to talk to people how to convince people and that is really what advertising and digital media is all about so maybe not a lot of creativity but a lot of sensitivity is really required in terms of getting people 
to like your product, to understand your product, to buy into your product, and to trust your product. So I don't expect all digital marketers to be advertisers, but I do expect them all to be in touch with their human side, as to understand what where it, where the market is going and in which direction the brands need to go. Um, and as far as the creativity is concerned, you will have a lot of creative people to execute your ideas. You know. So that's not going to be a, a problem as long as you know where you want to take the brand. Okay, and uh, I, I think uh, any uh, the, the the ones who are joined here, if they have any questions, please do post it on the chat box. We'll answer it. There is no, uh, you need not wait till the end. You can ask your questions now itself, and we will answer it immediately. Okay. So any anybody has any questions related to digital marketing, please. Put it on the chat box. It will be more interactive. It will be more fun doing that way <laughs> rather than just we both discussing it. And uh, like um, like the, the the students who are from commerce stream specifically, do they have uh, any scope in digital marketing? Or yeah, so um, absolutely they they have, they do have a scope in digital marketing. They have. More scope in digital marketing than their uh, friends who have possibly passed out from BMM, BMS, and uh, you know all these mains, uh, all these um, uh, courses that are uh, they are that are more industry oriented. But uh, I think uh, commerce children from commerce background do have a, a leverage. And let me put numbers to it. Since we already spoke about the growth uh, in the in the digital marketing spe uh, sphere, there are a lot of people who are who are. Who are looking at joining this this space, right? They might come from commerce backgrounds. They might come from science, arts, um, all the other backgrounds that are available. Some might be shifting from from mainstream uh, marketing to digital marketing. Correct. However, however, this has been a growing space, and this will always con this will continue to remain a growing space for quite some time until we really uh, get get the get the mediocre ones. Out of the system, right? So this will be a growing, growing space for quite some time now, and it is, uh, it's an, uh, it's an opportunity for people from the commerce background to sort of realize um, how money, how marketing, and how uh, people sort of come together in this space. Let me give you a, a principle that that uh, really uh, comes into my mind is that. Uh, the, the 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 pace at which digital media is growing at one point, if you if you just keep that on one hand, and on the other hand, you look at the un unemployment rate in India, the, the mm. maximum am amount of unemployed youth are commerce graduates, right? They are commerce graduates because there are a lot of people from the commerce free, uh, from the commerce streams who do not know what to do. And I'm not saying that it's their fault, you know. Uh, as a system, we haven't come across and said, you know, hey, look, uh, these are certain avenues that you really need to look into. So, holistically speaking, there is a lot of unemployment in that region. There is a lot of demand in this region. However, uh, kids fail to realize that this demand and supply equation can come together. All they need to do is possibly uh, seek an internship. With someone that uh, who is into this field, with a company that's into this field. Uh, secondly, they could they could run uh, they could learn uh, certain courses. They could they could undertake certain courses just to sort of understand the basics of digital marketing. So there are eight or nine uh, spheres of digital marketing. One could just start with a basic comprehensive program that covers all these spheres, and then sort of move on to. Something that they want to specialize in. So you know, you could you could do a course uh, in um, in digital marketing in general, and then say if you want to specialize in in advertising, so Google Ads or Facebook Ads, or if you want to specialize in design or in design thinking, or uh, all of these uh, small small aspects and avenues on content creation, on video creation, reels, ko kaise banate hain. So all of these uh, smaller specializations can be done. I could take my own example. I have not studied digital marketing. I am an economics graduate. I came out uh, as an economics graduate. Uh, I learned digital marketing 
solely on the job. Mm-hmm. You know, so if uh, you have someone who is ready to invest their time, effort, and energy into uh, seeing to it that you grow in this field, uh, nothing better than having a mentor who can uh, can take you forward. But commerce students have, and one more thing. So I also did eleventh uh, and twelfth commerce right before switching over to arts. Okay. So I understand their uh, their pain point. They look at commerce as okay. Commerce kar diya now. Either I get into M Com or I get into one of those uh, jobs that that you know are accounts or uh, C A or C F A or C S or law, right? Or they get into M B A finance because they know how to read books. What I do advise my friends from the commerce background is to sort of. Understand that you don't really need to uh, make your career in that direction. Understand the principles of whatever you have picked up Correct. during your graduation, and apply those principles into uh, into uh, into this, uh, the, the 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 career that you choose. So, for example, I am an economics graduate, right? And uh, any economics graduate will tell you that. Uh, You have to put in more money into sectors where there is more interest. I mean, that's just common 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 sense. It's not it's not it has nothing to do with my economics. But uh, we understand interest. We understand uh, money. We understand all these principles. So we know that we have to put in more money in places that give us more interest and less money into places that give us less interest. Uh, but we still need to keep that balance because places that give us less uh, less returns might be more um, might be more liquid. Yeah, and the places that give us higher returns might not be as liquid, but we do have to keep that balance. So, so the same principle applies into into what we do. We do a lot of testing while running ads, right? So this principle of economics comes into picture, and I and I and I will see what kind of uh, subset or what kind of set of audience is responding more in, to a particular ad. So I put more money over there, more efforts over there, more more thought into that. As opposed to the other, so it's it's all about getting the principles that you have learned during your graduation and applying it into your career. That's what all digital marketing is all about. And somebody like uh, I think one of them from the audience, Vibhavi, is asking, what are the careers in digital marketing? What are the careers in digital marketing? Um, good question. <laughs> there are there are so many career options for you. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what's your Thank name? You. Uh, so, wherever we there, there's a lot of uh, scope in terms of uh, what you want to do. What I like about digital marketing is that, or marketing in general, is that it allows you to choose your career path based on what you like to do. So, for example, if you like to, uh, maybe you're a commerce student, but who is excellent at design. Right, you are very, very, very good at with your artwork. Uh, so you could just just pick up a pencil and start drawing. Uh, perhaps you could look at content creation. Perhaps you could look at social media design or uh, any kind of design. If you are into, um, uh, if you are very, if, if you are good with numbers, you could get into advertising. Where you could you could do strategy planning for advertisers. Uh, they will say, you know, I have a budget of X amount. Figure things out for me. Tell me where should I put each and every rupee, and uh, give me a breakdown. So you know, if I, if I say I have two lakh rupees worth of ad budget, so say yeah, fifty thousand goes into Google Ads, ten thousand goes over here, Facebook Ads, forty uh, thousand goes into something else, and content creation. Me itna jana chahiye. So if you're good with numbers, you can pick that up. If you're good with writing, you can look at content writing. You can look at blog writing. You can look at um, uh, website content writing. There are there are there are there are a lot of um, uh, writing related jobs over there. And if trust me, you don't need to be good at English to to be uh, a good writer. Digital media is of going regional. Okay, so if you can create ads in regional languages, that will actually be a plus. Just just look at it. Netflix has has invested around three hundred million dollars into content creation in, in in India, into regional languages as well, not just Hindi but also 
uh, they are going uh, they are going down south and creating languages uh, creating content in those languages um, amazon prime for that matter has has gotten into that and uh, so really if you if you have control on any any one language uh, or if you can learn a language to such an extent that you can write advertisements in that please please get in touch with any digital marketer and uh, you know tell them that i i have an interest in this field they will be more than happy to train you and uh, take that conversation ahead with you um uske alawa there is there, there, there is uh, if you could be a good account manager you know if you, if your people skills are good you could uh, coordinate between the, the client and the agency so they have a design team in the agency or they have some kind of other team that executes different kind of work uh, if you want to coordinate between the two uh, if you if you think your people skills are good and even if your language isn't that great numbers aren't that great that's fine if your people skills are good you can you can select that um so uh, what uh, you know what we can uh, we can go on and on and on about the kind of career or uh, prospects that are there uh servers telling me just some time ago that uh, sir can also help uh, people you know you could take certain aptitude tests to sort of figure out where you want to go uh and uh, sir also has those kind of uh, services that he does provide uh i would suggest you know take sir up on that uh, offer or you could get in touch with us offline um after this live and uh, we could have this conversation with you uh but i would re- rather request you to keep your keep your options open keep your mind open and and really figure out for yourself what you like okay also there is a i hope that is yeah yeah why we i hope why uh, we had that question also i think one more person had that question yeah rashika also had that so rashika same for you and uh, um there is one more thing like somebody anonymous is earning scope good earning scope is uh, uh yes and no largely because if you come into any field uh, i'm sorry i'm getting a slightly philosophical if you come into any field with with the amount uh, with 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 an uh, with an amount or a bank balance in num- in, in mind you are not going to make it uh, and that is that is very true for advertising that's very true. and sir as a business owner will also tell you the same thing you know uh it's it's about the amount of lives that we touch i'll i'll just give you one small example uh i was i was uh, with one of my clients and this client is a mainstream advertising company uh i shall not reveal the name so i am also a consultant with a lot of other agencies okay now this particular client had an insurance product to be sold from uh, one of india's top most bfsi companies and uh, they also got in another consultant on board who is good with uh, you know uh, who who has a, has his pulse amongst the uh, financial advisor community and that guy came up to the board room and he said uh, you guys uh, what do you think you guys are doing with the marketing products and we, we were actually talking numbers if you are actually talking numbers. like stop thinking it uh, stop thinking about it in, in those lines you know in those terms and start thinking it this th- thinking about it this way ki agar us bande ne ye policy nahi khareed aur kal ko mar gaya to tum uski biwi bachchon ko tum kya mo right okay so our job is to try to squeeze out the maximum amount of returns from our clients it's going to be more oriented towards touching more lives maybe it is on behalf of our clients right so even when sir started this uh, coaching classes he never thought it it's going to be one of uh, you know a, 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 this large of uh, an uh, an enterprise but i think every life that he has touched over the last uh, couple of decades he might remember 90% of them if not 100% <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, i think that's that's what success is all about it uh, earning scope yeah yeah i mean seriously there are there are better ways of earning there are worse ways of earning uh, also amongst uh, all 
as digital marketers, we do have that thing that some someone charges more for something and the other one does not. But really, if you come with that kind of uh, question in your in your head, it's not going to help you. I would rather look at how many lives that you that you impact and sort of go in that direction. I hope that answers your question, Anonymous. Um, I think they want some numbers, I suppose. <laughs> they want some numbers. Okay, good. Um, so let's let's begin with uh, interns, right? Interns get paid uh, almost close to nothing when it comes to their stipend, right? And uh, so I I know someone who's recently started his internship and he's getting paid two thousand bucks, uh, which he will sort of he looks at it as 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 an expense that he incurs for learning, right? Which is fine. With, with, I don't have a problem with that. However, if you come with a certain amount of expertise in that, you straight up start earning fifteen, twenty thousand to begin with, or maybe ten thousand to begin with. Um, again, the roles will um, sort of define which which field you and how much you will earn. But that's pretty much how you start off. Then sky is the limit. You know, we 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 know of freelancers who earn in crores. You know of agencies who learn or who will earn in lakhs. Okay. So there's no limit. really, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, Nida Fazli ka ek share hai ki kabi kabi yuh hi humne apne dil ko pehlaaya hai, jin baaton ko khud ne samjhe auron ko samjhaya hai. So when when you go into a, to a, a meeting with a client, you they come with the assumption that you know everything. When when in reality you need to come over there. Understanding that I don't know anything, and then doors open up, and then you'll be like, "Okay, fine. You know, this is another service that I could offer my client, and therefore I could earn something more out of it." So, uh, yeah, come with an open mind. Uh, get into this space with an open mind. That's exactly how you, you will reach the top. I hope that answers your question. Yeah. Another question here: Does it make sense to do marketing and BMS, or integrate both? Do they have any connection? Yeah. So, um, okay. Um, I'm going to get into a, a very controversial, controversial uh, discussion about this. So, these industry-oriented courses really don't uh, do justice to the kind of caliber that you guys have after you get out of your tenth or twelfth uh, standard. So, in in a BMM or a BMS kind of situation, you over the course of Three years, you you uh, you go through around 36 to 38 different subjects. Correct me if I'm wrong. And you don't have mastery on on any single one of them. Correct. Right. You will have an interest in something that you like, maybe one or two subjects, but you will not have an inherent mastery on that. You know, when I say mastery, uh, people will not call you to panel discussions just to discuss that particular topic. Right. So you really need to hone your skills. In that particular subject, after you finish your uh, your graduation, so people who come from these fields, BMM, BMS, uh, uh, BFI, whatever, you know, I request them to look at before they start earning to look at having uh, a second round of courses, particularly in the field of their interest, right? So uh, somebody asked about marketing. Yes, you you could do marketing. Um, You could possibly do your MBA. You could do a PG diploma, uh, but more than that, I would rather you, you 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 focus your energies and efforts into something that has that has got to do with more with the humanity of things, you know. So uh, become an expert in in possibly say um, psychology or economics or political science or history. So you come with 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 a cultural understanding of a subject. And then afterwards, you become a better marketer. Uh, if you do not have that opportunity, if you can't take up uh, another, if you can't invest another couple of years into that. What I re- highly recommend is, uh, you can start working, but never stop learning. So there are courses available for free or for really cheap available online. Pick those courses up, not from a career perspective, but from a from a from a personal development perspective. 
and once you come with that kind of understanding and you bring that understanding to the table you will be a better marketer you will be a better media executive whatever that is uh, you know than what you were when you graduated out of college so yeah again happy to connect with you guys uh, if you guys require any more advice offline or uh, on to my on to this uh, instagram live wherever correct that's right yeah, still you have some questions you can put it on the chat box i hope it yeah, is i think one of us had a question which one to do first uh, yeah does it make sense to do marketing or integral um just uh, try to answer that question but yeah um, there is no first to that i would recommend that while you are graduating if you have the time and the energy to invest pick up a course in the humanities or pick up a course specifically dealing with marketing uh, because trust me the the kind of syllabus that you guys have currently i am personally not too happy with it nanda bhai bhi has a question what careers are there in creative side of digital marketing except oh there's a lot content creation except content creation yeah so uh, creative side mein um i am not too sure whether we if you are asking me about the design perspective if if that i'll cover that as well um so content doesn't really mean written content it could be textual content it could be uh, visual content okay in textual content it is completely text like the kind of questions that you are asking me is in, in the textual form visual content could be images photography videos uh, design work illustrations anything so you could you could look at uh, picking up the uh, a career in design you could look at picking up a career in visualization you could look up you, you know there is i have recently realized that there is a career to be made out of specializing how to create good ppts for pitches for companies you know so uh, that if that's something that appeals to you you could pick that up um apart from if if you are good with video uh pick up a good course in in reel production or in video production or uh, something like that and get into that um in the creative side you could also you could also uh, i know you said no except content creation but if you are good with ideation you know you could create uh, mood boards and storylines and storyboards for uh for digital films digital ad films and all of that because digital ad formats are are slightly different to the tvcs that we see we can go up to like 2 to 3 minutes for a digital ad whereas uh, tvcs will, will will typically end in a couple of seconds so um so there are there are those uh, avenues available yeah so these are all that i can think of at the top of my head if there is more maybe uh, you could leave a comment uh, or a message on our uh, aims and i'll be more than happy to answer them correct thank you uh, thank you very much i think that that clears by the way i mean except content creation as an influencer okay. um yeah so i i think i just spoke about that that uh, i'm so sorry to cut you off sir ha nahi nahi i said by the way i hope it's uh, it has answered her and another question she has except create a uh, create content creation as an influencer yeah i think we 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 just uh, touched upon that subject yeah yeah she is happy with the answer okay and uh, uh, i think the uh, any sp- uh, like any specific tips for the young students who are planning to start in this field or have just started so um, first of all connect with your seniors uh, people who have just graduated before you uh, those guys are into the are into this business get in touch with them they can sort of help you uh, get into the direction that you want to be uh, secondly own your skills right own your skills in terms of something that has to do with people management right um if you know how to manage people you know how to how to run businesses so whether you want to 
uh, work with a with, with an agency maybe like ours or some some better agency uh, if you want to work as a freelancer or you want to start your own business understand that 100% of the people 100% of the customers employees and vendors that you're going to deal with are people right 100% of the audience are people okay. so get an understanding of people you know what what appeals to people how to how to make your product or service more marketable to people and i'm not saying fake it i'm saying try and understand what kind of target audience your product will require and what and most importantly what kind of product, target audience your product does not require so it's not about trying to convince somebody to buy your product but it's trying to appeal to someone who's already primed to purchase your product um, try and getting out to them and appealing your uh, getting creating an appeal for your product in that market so own your skills own your technical skills so whether it is design as uh, we were just discussing for the other use question whether it is uh, money management whether it's ad budget whether it is strategy whether it is um, creating an entire campaign all together learn these skills maybe you can uh, work under someone who could mentor you into this direction you could pick up courses or you could do both and and figure your way out around it third leave your mind open you know uh, never say i don't want to do something uh, do it and then realize that you would like it or you would not like it and if you don't like it that's fine there are there are various avenues open but nobody should come back to you and say you did not try it and therefore you lost out on an opportunity so so give everything a shot uh, be a bad designer i always say you know to, uh, stop uh, worrying about how do i think out of the box and start worrying about why are you thinking in the first place uh, you know be a bad designer be a bad content creator be a bad Uh, influence or whatever it is that that uh, that that appeals to you be, be a bad whatever it is and start and but be a bad executive with the goal to improve with every every day's performance so you know uh, that's that's the only career advice that uh, i would give anyone who is who's coming in any kind of creative field especially this one on marketing so because trust me 99% of all our efforts fail this is one industry with with a 99% fail, failure rate all our efforts almost 99% of our efforts fail because maybe the client does not like what you have done okay. maybe the client backed you but it it backfired um maybe your vendors are not being uh, cooperative at times so there are a lot of things that that go into the lot of moving parts so you have to be ready to to, to uh, face failure and to move beyond that so that's that's something that nobody can teach you really something that you need to work on that's right <laughs> i think uh, we have covered almost uh, everything and in case we have missed something i think if you can share anything any specific point we have missed out on which we which i think the students should know and we have not discussed that yeah um the f- one thing that students really need to know is that uh, you know at this moment a lot of you all will think that this is the maximum that you have ever learned in your life like you know you haven't learned anything more beyond this but i'm also going to tell you that this is the least that you will ever ever learn in your life going forward correct okay. so keep your eyes and ears open uh marketing especially digital marketing is an avenue where you have to learn new things every day um because i am sitting on this instagram live and i know that there is something tomorrow that's coming my way that maybe i never thought of it up till now so really look forward to it with 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 excitement as opposed to assuming that you, that you know a lot of things up till now uh and that's the only way to grow in digital media and if you are confused um, sir i would like you to talk about your uh, the services that you are offering in terms of uh, aptitude tests and all if you could also sort of give uh, shed some light on on that uh, maybe a lot of them would benefit 
even knowing that maybe digital media is not their space to work in but they could find a better lot better alternative yeah, yeah. out there and yeah, that's nice and i think a uh, very relevant um, advice you gave like uh, which is applicable to all the field like the things are changing so fast so updation is a part and parcel and uh, yeah. of the whole process so whether it is digital marketing or it's a finance field or accounting anything you are in things are changing fast so you need to study every day you need to upgrade your skills upgrade your thought process upgrade your knowledge and for that for doing that you have to do you have to be in something which you are very passionate about and you don't do and you don't mind doing it again and again and uh, and uh, do it even if you are not paid for that you know that is a that is passion like Absolutely. You, yeah so yeah. you pay nahi i am ready to work but payment i will you can give me whatever you like but it is my passion i'll do it but when one when one comes to that stage i think money fame respect all those follows you know this is what my experience is like and the other and and to know like when many of uh, i think um, in a survey they found almost 75 80% of them don't know what they want to do you know that's a, a conclusion of a survey uh, and some 15% of them know okay okay like you know yes i'm sure but not sure like at least they are uh, they at least they have zeroed on or two or three things only yeah. 5 6% are very very sure about what they want to do and they very yeah. clear you know you do you tell them anything they will not change so considering that 80% of us don't know what exactly we want to do or what is our passion what is our aptitude what is our interest then this program of psychometry test is very well designed and uh it's in three stages like one stage one is whereby there is one to one uh discussion with the counselor the counselor does a basic um, questionnaires with you trying to understand you trying to get um, your um uh, can say understand your the thought process or whatever things you have done till now that's noted down then there's a 90 minute test which is an online test you can take it at home and post that test there's a report which is generated around 20 pages which will cover your aptitude interest and personality and aggregating these three based on a scientific formula of cronbach these three things are aggregated and top 3 career options are decided for you so they may say uh, option number 1 finance or option number 2 digital marketing like that uh, ranking wise uh, uh, the uh, cluster career is given you know finance is one cluster marketing is another cluster like that top clusters are given to you and within that cluster which career you are supposed to choose which colleges are available or offering this across the world you can know that and also uh, what is the duration of those courses uh, what is the scholarship you get which companies do come in the placement for the placements you get a very uh, exhaustive understanding of that you know once you do that psychometry test and that data is there with you almost for a year's time so you can access that any point of time for the year so it's really helpful you know instead of uh, doing a trial and error and saying ki okay let me try this i don't know then after a year you realize no 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 i'll not do this then you realize no and then again then then maybe like 5 6 year then you feel my um, colleagues have uh, are in a certain stage of life and i'm still to start so that creates <laughs> a sort of you know comparison and inferiority complex so these things are now available very uh you can say easily so one should do it maybe 20 years back this was not available or even if it was available it was known to only selected people it was not known to um, all maybe i was not i was not aware when i started my career up so so that's it so uh, ease of things available technology available facilities available one should use it and use it to one's advantage rather than just yeah, i uh, Yeah. I really agree because uh, when I when I got out of tenth and twelfth, I personally required something like this, and uh, I I actually went to a college, uh, my which later on became my college Xavier's, and I gave these tests over there. So I can really vouch for the, the efficacy and uh, uh, vouch for 
the, the importance that such testing and uh, such career guidance uh, guidance systems will have for our students. Yeah. Sorry. So, uh, any any questions from the audience? So, before we end the session, any questions you have, please ask so that we can answer you, help you out maximum possible. And we have have you a very experienced person from this field. So he's the best man to answer these questions. Yeah. Anyway, this uh, whole in whole chat, I mean, this whole program will be on our Insta Live. This Insta Live session will be on our Instagram um, real perfect. So anybody can access it at any point of time later on also. So yeah. And anybody at any time. Uh, they feel like getting in touch with us, any one of us to discuss their career options. Uh, we are more than glad to help them. They could they could reach out to us uh, on our uh, on our Instagram page, which is inc. dot ogntus inc. dot ogntus in um, You could reach out over there. You could drop in a message. You could uh, or send us an email. It's all available on our profile. We will be more than glad to, uh, to hear from you. Even if there's any feedback with regards to this uh, Instagram live, you can share that with us. Yes. So the, you can share your feedback, suggestions. Will will motivate us to do um, such type of programs and cover topics which you want. Yeah. So thank you, Savio. Thank you for your patience. Thank, thank you so. Thank you so much. It, uh, it's so nice to sort of. Be back in the classroom. Uh, it's been a while since I stopped teaching, so <laughs> it really <laughs> brought back those memories. And thank you, thank so you, I, thank you so much. Yeah, so weekday and uh, coming uh, after a hectic day and being very energetic to do this. Hats off to you. Thank you very much. Always, always, always available for students. Thank, thank you so much, sir. Bye and bye. I hope this 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 was uh, informative to our students. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Bye bye.